Hi, I'm Mark Feely and I'm making kombucha tea. So I have uh, two things of tea here. So uh, when you go to make it, it's a uh, sweet tea. So one cup of sugar for one gallon of tea. That's now, a lot of tea. That is a lot of tea. And over here I have the scobies. Now these scobies have been dormant because I've been traveling. So I kept them in the refrigerator. And uh, so you see, this is the SCOBY, this is the mother, this is the thing that makes it. And uh, SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. So, so it's like AIDS. Just like AIDS, you spell, or like SCUBA. Or SCUBA, it's an acronym. It's an acronym. Don't think so, it was like AIDS, AIDS, though. No, no, no. And so here's the other one. God, it really looks like a disease, though. It looks like, some people have said, oh, it looks like a chicken breast. <laughs> But it's not a chicken breast. It's not. And so this is the thing that's going to turn the sugar into, uh, what's it? it's, the yeast is going to feed off the sugar, and then the bacteria eat the dead yeast, and it produces all these enzymes that people say have a lot of healing qualities. Now here's my extra SCOBY. So if anybody out there wants a SCOBY, I'm done using this one because... Uh, Stick it in there. No, I'm not sticking it in there. It likes it. Uh, it's too big. And so then you have to put some of the starter. And this has a lot of bioactive stuff in it. So you put that in there. And, then... and the star is just old tea, right? I mean, it's just old, old, tea. old kombucha. It's old kombucha. Or last week's kombucha. Last week's. And this stuff, you could drink this if you wanted to, but you don't have to. Do you want to try it, Pastor? Yeah, I'll taste some. You'll taste some of this? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. Oh, here it, we'll pretend like the the viewer is drinking it. <coughs> How is it? It's very yeasty. Let me try. It tastes like um. It's actually very good for you. But this is nice, and eventually, after about a week, we're gonna bottle this with a little passion fruit. We've discovered pulp. That, pulp, passion fruit pulp. We've discovered that passion fruit. Uh, with kombucha is like the best mixture of all things. You can mix all sorts of fruit, but really passion fruits really complements it so well. Why is that? Uh, I don't know, because it's the tart taste. They kind of go together. Why do you make it in two jars, not one? Well, because I can't fit all of this into this jar. Okay, so it just uh, makes it easier to It just to makes handle. it easier. You can handle it. I Why don't you just stick this in there with a... All right, right, I'll stick it in this one. Meanwhile, what? why not? Well, because it's too big. See? And then, uh, is that it? Or do you put like a rag on top, right? And, and then I put a towel on top. And then I... And you want to rinse that towel first so there's no dust on it. Yeah. It's already, it's been in the fridge with it. It's that. been washed. It's been washed. So it's a See clean how... cotton rag so it can <laughs> See how breathe. clean it is? <laughs> That's just kombucha. The little kombucha juice didn't hurt anybody. And so I'll put this into the oven and just keep it with the light on. What, like at 350 degrees? No. No, I'll just keep it in there because I don't use the oven that often. So I'll just use, uh, I'll put it on there with the light on. For a week. So, so the pilot light keeps the oven yeah. just warm enough. Just warm enough. And after a week, I'll try it and see how it is. Enjoy. Hey, how did you... What's that thing back there, that, your little scoby? What? Oh, this? Yeah, bring it up. This is something else. Show them that. I've just been cooking this in case anybody wants one. And this is like a little nicer. So you see like a scoby? Yeah. It'll take the shape of whatever it's growing in. And how did you make that? Uh, this is just kombucha. So you bought a bottle at the uh, the grocery store and you mixed it with yeah, tea and I sugar. I mixed it with tea and sugar. And just waited a lot and longer. Just, yes, and just waited for it to come out and then there it is. Uh, and so that's I'm, the raw, unpasteurized, mm -hmm. unflavored kombucha. And I'm waiting to give this a good home, so if anybody out there wants it, come and get it. Yeah, turn that thing, racket. Well, I'm sorry. It. I was washing dishes before I started video blogging. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll they can follow us on Twitter, right? Yeah, follow us on Twitter at Feast of Fun or uh, Mark Fillion. And you have one too, Fausto. Fausto Fernos. Yes. Well, they're all appearing all there now at the bottom of the screen. Bling, 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 bling. This was shot <laughs> with an iPhone. Yes, it was. Low tech people. And low lighting.